Welcome to Spectrum 2050 channel for tutorial and education. Here is the official syllabus of cell biology course. We're going to talk about the titles colored in yellow in two videos of general principles, part one, an overview, part two, cell characteristics. Cell biology or cytology is the study of cell structure and function. The structure is the study of the parts that compose the cell and the way in which these different parts are arranged. The function is the way in which the whole works or operates. Like bricks, isolated or clustered to form a wall. The cell can be analogous to a factory with wall and door separate the inner components from the external environment and allows for things to enter and leave the factory. A central office controls and manages activities and initiates production. Generator produces energy. Assembly line assembles raw material for distribution. Conveyor belt moves product, packaging and shipping for distribution, collection and recycle center, breaks down and recycle used parts, and the storage area uh, store material for later use. A cell is the smallest unit of living things. It can be isolated and one cell can form a unicellular organism as aglina, yeast, bacteria. Uh, the cell also can be grouped uh, to form a multicellular organism, uh, for example here, uh, an animal and the plant tissues that are formed by several cells. Cell theory. The cell is the basic structural organizational unit of all organisms. All cells are enclosed by plasma membrane, which separates the inside of the cell from its environment. All living things are composed of one or more cells. All new cells arise from existing cells. The study of cell biology is essential because cells are at the heart of every biological process. It is essential for improving human health in understanding the mechanisms of diseases and in advancing biotechnology or developing new therapies. All living organisms are made up of cells. The classification is according to the number of cells, unicellular or multicellular, and according to type eukaryote and prokaryote. The genetic material of eukaryote is inside a nucleus. However, uh, for prokaryote, it is free in the cytoplasm. There is another type called akaryote, uh, which is a particle that doesn't have nucleus, organelles, and uh, metabolism for example viruses. The type prokaryote is only unicellular and is represented by bacteria, cyanobacteria, the bacteria with different shapes and cyanobacteria called classically the blue-green algae. There is another type called archaebacteria, uh, a specific uh, prokaryote that lives in very hard environment, for example, uh, an environment of uh, high temperature or high uh, uh, salt concentration, etc. For eukaryotes, there is unicellular called protist like euglena, amoeba, and there is the multicellular represented by plants, fungi, and animals. Regarding size, both eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells are under the minimal resolution of eye. That means that they can uh, only observe it under microscope. For the chemical composition, cells are uh, largely composed with water and 70% and 30% chemical um, represented by proteins, lipid, carbohydrate, DNA, RNA, micromolecules, and ions. 
let's take an overview of animal cell structure function. Uh, this is how the animal cell looks like uh, under optic microscope and under transmission electron microscope. The most important thing that we can observe uh, in the animal cell is the nucleus. The nucleus um, is a double membrane bounded organelle contains chromatin, nucleolus, um, uh, nucleoplasm. Uh, it acts as the control center of the cell, storing genetic information, DNA, and coordinating activities such as growth, metabolism, protein synthesis, and cell division. Animal cell is delimited by cell membrane or plasma membrane. It regulates the movement of substances into and out of the cell. It maintains the cell's environment and ensures communication with other cells. Mitochondria. For one, we say mitochondrion is a double membrane bounded organelle. It is known as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria generate energy ITP through cellular respiration. The rough endoplasmic reticulum involved in protein synthesis and modification as it has ribosomes attached to its surface. Ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis, translating genetic code into proteins. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes lipids, metabolizes carbohydrates, detoxifies drugs and poisons, and stores calcium ions. Golgi apparatus modifies sorts and packages protein and lipids for transport within or outside the cell, it is involved in the creation of lysosomes. Lysosomes contain enzymes that break down waste materials, cellular debris, and foreign invaders as bacteria. They play a role in digestion within the cell. Peroxisome metabolizes waste and is implicated in the protection of cell against oxidative damages. The cytokeleton uh, provides structural support, maintains the cell shape, and facilitates movement within the cell, example during cell division. It consists of microtubules, actin filaments, and intermediate filaments. Uh, the centrosome and centrioles involved in organizing microtubules and play a role in cell division. This is a hypothetical model of animal cell. All cell structure that can be found and that have been described above, indeed, cilium, flagellum, microvilli, proteasome, which is a multi subunit enzyme complex, it is not a true cell but a representative cell that regroups all cell structure that can be found in animal cells. Plant cell. This is how plant cell looks like under optical microscope and transmission electron microscope. Indeed, what we have described in animal cell, the plant cell have a very specific structural elements, for example, cell wall that maintains cell shape, the plasmodesmata channels connecting to uh, plant cells, a very specific double membrane bounded uh, organelle, the chloroplast, uh, performs photosynthesis, converting light energy into chemical energy stored in glucose and also contain the pigment chlorophyll. Also, this is the chloroplast. Uh, also, we can find uh, a specific uh, organelle, the vacuole, uh, which is responsible for the storage of water, nutrients, and waste products. Uh, the large central vacuole uh, help maintain turgor pressure in the plant cell. Finally, this is the structure of unicellular eukaryotic organism protozoa paramecium and a prokaryotic under uh, optical and uh, transmission electron microscope. Uh, the most important uh, difference that can be uh, noted is the free genetic material of the bacterium or nucleoid and the delimited uh, genetic material in a nucleus in the unicellular eukaryotic organism. 
This is how we can observe eukaryotic cells, organelles, and their transmission electron microscope. The nucleus is a double-bounded membrane organelle, contains nucleolus, the heterochromatin or dark chromatin, the euchromatin or light chromatin, the double membrane or nuclear envelope, the nuclear pores, and the nucleoplasm. Next to the nuclear envelope, we can find in the external environment the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum. The mitochondrion is also a double bounded membrane organelle with extended cristae. In their matrix, which is in blue, we can find uh, the genetic material. The chloroplast is also a double bounded membrane organelle found in plant cells. Uh, we can observe the stroma, the grana, and some DNA containing regions. The roof endoplasmic reticulum is formed by Citerly. In their membrane, we can observe attached ribosomes. In the Golgi apparatus, we can uh, find uh, secretory vesicles, and here we can observe lysosomes and peroxisomes. Uh, the peroxisome can contain a dense core body uh, inside. The main differences between plant and animal cells are elements and organelles that can be found in one cell but not in the other. For example, in plant cell, we can find a cell wall, vacuole, chloroplast, plasmodesmata, but not in animal cell. And in animal cell, we can find centrosome with the pair of centriole, flagella, cilia, gap junction, but not in plant cell. However, what is here in the middle is common between the plant and animal cells. There are several differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, but both contain DNA ribosomes in different uh, weights, cell membranes, cytoplasm, flagellum. The differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells are in the number of cells, the size, the membrane-bounded nucleus, the cell wall chemistry, the membrane-bound organelles, the growth, the production of new cells, and the set of DNA replication. In the next video of General Principles Part 2, we're going to take a look at cell characteristics.